All right, guys, sorry about the little delay there. For some reason, typical Mondays, my computer decides to do a reboot. Hate Mondays for that. You know, now it ends up puts it a little behind, but that's okay. How's everybody doing? Good to see you, Ken, Andrea. Good to see you. Tom, Charles, Sean, Frank, Gene, look at that. All right, good, good, good. All right, guys, well, today um, is Monday, and it is on the 19th, which means we're about a couple of days away from Thanksgiving, which means that their kids are going to be going on vacation, which means that we can go into a slow week. And also, it is a great opportunity for us to blow some money and and get ready for those great Black Friday deals. So hopefully, your guys and paycheck is doing did as well as mine this year. Had a great 2018, and look forward to a great uh, spending year. So hopefully, you guys are going to do and help contribute to the GP. GDP, <laughs> what they always say. All right, and then also, guys, don't forget, we also have our uh, own Black Friday, which you guys always look forward to every year. So um, great opportunities there for the uh, for some of you want to start out with CT with the small courses, and uh, or you know some of you guys want need to do, which we're very well known for, have doing some great coaching. All right, but other than that, let's go over and see what's happening. Uh, what happened last week, we did get a couple of decent movers, nothing spectacular, but we did pretty well. Let me just bring up a couple of stocks that we did trade. First of all, uh, NVIDIA, okay? I want to just bring that up. Uh, I told you this, that I was talking to my brother the other day, actually yesterday, and uh, he had this stock in his IRA for a while, and he took a huge hit. And I'm like, I thought you sold this thing a, a while ago. And uh, he owned it at back, like I think like 130, and he ran to 290, and he got out all the way, which he didn't want to talk about, but at 200. And, uh, you know, look, well, once again, it's – one, the most important thing I always teach and I tell everybody this is that to be a good swing trader, to be a good option trader, you damn well better be a good day trader first because it's what happens over the course of the day which trickles into a swing trade. So, you know, listen, the best of us, we get we, we take hits, but you know what? We're still here, you know? Remember what I always tell you and I repeat this over and over again, great traders, great traders – Never buy at the bottom, and we sell at top. We always buy in between, and not even just great traders, even the uh, the good quality traders. So, when it comes down to it, you know, at the end of the day, when you look back where it is right now, and you're like, damn, maybe, you know, I know I didn't get out at 290, I got out at 200, you know, 210, but now 164, you know, you're looking pretty damn, uh, looking pretty damn good. You probably, you probably thank uh, your lucky stars. And then the other one, which I don't like to talk too much about, you know, I'm not a big fan of talking about expensive stocks, but I also want to talk about the Facebook. Facebook is taking a lot of scrutiny lately, um, and once again, it is a social network uh, indicator. And there's really not that many indicators out there. I mean, it's like the pot stocks. But uh, but I told you, if you go back to my, um, if you go back into July, all right, and look at my YouTube video, and I told you this, guys, back then when this stock took a huge hit back here, you remember when it went from like 210 all the way down to gap down to 170, and I says, looks like 150 is coming. I got a little egg on my face, made a little comeback, but look where it is today. So anyway, how did I know it was going to drop that low? Well, several things, and we're going to cover in our swing trading course. Listen, lower lows, bad uh, bad scrutiny, um, you know, there's a lot more that comes into it. And once again, see what's happening over the course of the day, you know? So that's basically what we're having right there. Now, regarding about those, a um, couple other ones, you know, like I said, in the video, did trickle into some stocks like AMD. AMD did this. What the hell is that on my screen? I got all these things that pointed up over there. AMD uh, moved pretty uh, on the downtrend. Micron Technologies, that one also took a big hit. You know, all of them. Twitter, like I said, all the those big name brands I'm talking about. Uh, you like the Facebooks, like the uh, Nvidia's, all affect all these little inexpensive ones. Even the Twitter, T W T R. Oops, spelled it wrong. There we go. So all of them obviously took a big hit from that. Now, regarding about what what's happening this morning, listen, it, it is Monday. There's not a lot that's going on right now. There are a couple of things that I did find. And once again, we're going into a very, very busy 
uh, holiday season, Thanksgiving, you know, here for some of you, I know the Canadians have theirs, uh, just had theirs, but here in the U.S., stock market is closed on Thursday. Uh, we have a half a day on Friday. By the way, you better show up on Friday because I've always made a lot of money on Fridays. I know you want to go out there and enjoy it to, to, to make it a long weekend, but I'm telling you, if Fridays, half days are always, I love Love half days. All right, so what do we got going on on list? We have the SGRP. I'm going to bring that one up there. That one has gapped up a little bit so far this morning, up 21%. She was at a dollar, came out of nowhere. You know, uh, you could see the stock's got great, great uh, matrix uh, bids and offers out there. That one, a little cheapy right there. And not only that, but if I go back in history, you guys remember this stock. Let me just change this time frame. Because this stock, if you remember, we traded this stock back in January. Went from a buck twenty to three sixty. Was one of our two three hundred percent movers. So um, you know, keep a, let's keep a close eye on this one right here. That's the reason why I also put this one on my watch list. Another one, a blast from the past. Solo. Remember this one? Another one, that stock went from $2, went all the way to $8, right back down to one thirty. Listen, go back to your journals. Remember when we day traded on that day. See if how you did on it, how the fakes were on it, everything. Because remember, don't underestimate these cheap little stocks. We make a lot of money on them. But some of them, you know, move a little too quickly for some of us. So uh, go back and check it out. NBEV, the pot stocks, once again, making some news they all took big hits i came back uh when i came back from vegas last week we had the um we had uh one of the big hot pot convention in las vegas twenty five thousand people and and they charge you four to seven hundred dollars just to attend unbelievable by the way you know, you know what's the biggest thing i learned about the pot convention you know who the most you know who are the the most successful people in the pot industry are doing it's not the people that are selling it Okay, you know, it, it, and it was amazing, and they all said it. You know, you know, you know what the most profitable thing about the pop it, pop business? It's the growers, and the growers are the ones that are making uh, are are killing it, and uh, which is something that it was pretty funny. I just want to share that with you because how does that affect us as traders? I don't know. Let's find some growing stocks out there. Maybe that will probably cause uh, some uh, some opportunities out there. But let's keep an eye on that. But NBEV is going to be on our watch list. Last one I found is the LEJU on my list. It's up 29%. You can see it's got a little bit of a Fausto flag right there in the intraday. Unbelievable iceberg orders, though. you got a couple of brick walls, 12,000 chairs, 10,000. You see it's kind of testing it right there, and it's having a tough time breaking it already. Uh, so we'll keep right on that 230. But if it does break it, you know, it's breaking that long-term uh, resistance levels right there. Nice, nice little movement. Look at all the greens in the time and sale. So this one looks pretty good. Uh, now, uh, anything I'm missing I did not call out? Now, if you have it, just go out there and share it. In the meantime, guys, remember, be very, very careful today. Today is – uh, a Monday, we're going into a holiday. I think we're gonna have a. I think we're gonna have a great Tuesday and a very short-term Wednesday of activity. But as of right now, these are basically the things that we're gonna be focusing on. Uh, Dana says, "What about the AKER?" You know, I looked at that stock, and uh, sure enough, it just came from nowhere. Look at it, 82%. Uh, and, uh, you know what? It just must have just popped. It must have just came from nowhere. Yeah, absolutely, good call. Way to go, Dan. Let's give let's give let's give him a round of applause. Hope you got a piece of it. Yeah, beauty right there. Already up 84%. A K E R. Look, it's not even on. Uh, it's not even on the. Didn't make the trade station yet. They're still waiting to upload. That's and by the way, just to let you guys know, that's why here, you know, we love trade station. We showcase it. But sometimes we have to use different platforms to find it on on different you know different movers. So that's why you'll notice we were very very uh, software neutral, and that's one of the reasons why we use so many of them because of these these one little things. Yep, popped. Uh, you popped that 902. Okay, Deb, fine. There you go. All right, so there's your watch list, guys. Now for everybody else. We, you know, we have a lot of new traders that are starting today here at CyberTrain University. I'd like to welcome all. And uh, we know we have a lot of new students, too, that are joining the CTU family. So uh, let's make them feel comfortable and uh, let them know that, remember, it's a team effort. It's about uh, all of us working together and making money together. And for all the traders out there, if you see something, 
Not only say something, trade something. All right, so that's your tip of the day. Good luck, everyone, today. Happy trading, and uh, hope you're enjoying the ride on the TKER right there. Good, good call, Dana. Happy trading, everyone.